Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla Fam. Today we're going to have a look at the second season of the Skybet Championship. I've actually already started, I've done two matches because I was waiting for some transfers to filter in. So I usually like show you the first match, but in, in this one I, t I kind of changed things around a little bit. So yeah, finish the transfers. I'm going to show you the transfers that we've got. Um, and then we're going to play the third match of the championship season. So far we've had two draws, so we are laying in uh, 15th. So first things first, let's look at the transfers and there's quite a few things to go through. So I'll put the notes here on the side. So the first big change, if you look at the squad, the first big change is that we've lost Vince, um, our youth goalkeeper that we had last year. We lost him to Fulham. He was coming up to the end of his contract and he decided to sign for Fulham rather than us, which is, I suppose, is fair enough. We still have Tom Yates, who is now favoured personnel by the fans, and we went and got Duncan Wright, a Scottish goalkeeper, just to be a backup. Uh, Vince is now away in Fulham. Let's just go back and take a look at him. He's gone to Fulham. Yeah, so it's a big, it's a big shame because he was a really good goalkeeper, but um, he decided to sign for Fulham, so that's where he is now. Um, other changes we um, got, which is South again. So we loaned him in two seasons in a row um, to be our right fullback, uh, wing back rather. And this time around, he signed. We signed them for free. So he's with us permanently. And we went and got this uh, Icelandic kid, Adri Adisov, I think. I don't know how he pronounce all of that. But anyway, he's, he, he's in as a backup on the bench. So that's the right of the fence. The left of the fence sees two new faces. Max Clark has retired and Rico's been released. So we went and got Max Lowe, uh, ex experience left back and also our new uh, vice captain uh, Matias Oliveira he's Uruguayan currently injured coming back from injury uh, both experienced I could have had Ezi Manuel one of our young players but he's not he's yeah he's probably ready he'll be around the he'll, he'll be around he'll be around but yeah needed some experience this year a couple of changes as well in center of defense. We still have Gordon Harkness and Brad Hills. And the biggest news is that Brad Hills is now our longest standing member of the squad. Kaya, who was our longest standing member of the squad, has finally decided to leave the club. He went to Bolton. Brad Hills is now our longest standing member. He's come all the way from the Van Ryman North uh, with us all this time. He joined in 2025. Um, our last season in Van Ramen North and then has been with us ever since. Gordon, Gordon Harkness is still with us and we have two new um, uh, centre-backs as well. Harry Hagen is going to be one of our main centre-backs and Brad and Cooper is a backup centre-back that we just got. We were going to get this um, Israeli kid but his visa didn't quite um, like he, he didn't have quite enough points to, for his visa, so we didn't get him in the end. It looked like we we're going to get him for a little bit, but then it got rejected in the end. One change in the halfback position, uh, Andy has retired, so we have Neil Mott or Moat. He's unambitious, so we're trying to change that around. Um, he'll be all right. Our main halfback, anyway, is Alan, so the uh, Neil is going to be just a backup. Mike Davis decided that he wanted to leave, so we had to loan him out. Uh, he was our box to box for a long time. We wanted to change him for a long time, so we went ahead and bit the bullet and got Morgan Clark, Welsh box to box player, quite good. Um, and and that 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 should give us a big a big boost in the midfield. Then in the right wing, we sold Jack Pickering, one of our youth, for money, and we got. Declan Wright from Australia, also an, an ambitious, but we're hoping to turn that around. He's got quite a big potential. In the um, 
Shadow Striker position, Yan has been released and we got Jack on loan. No other changes though. In the left side of the attack, nothing changed. So we have Mark Dart and Craig Noon, one of our youth, um, still there. And no changes in the Shadow Striker, in, sorry, in the striker position, Craig and Miles still having that, that position there. So a few people retired, a few people released, a few people sold. But um, in whole, we still have a very similar team to what we had last year with a few new faces that should be an improvement. Um, and I'm hoping that we'll do better than just scrape a uh, relegation battle. So I'm hoping for a slightly more mid-table position this time around. Uh, if we look at our uh, dynamics, so still quite a lot of uh, leaders in the team, which is great. Nothing much changed. Social groups, it, you know, cohesion is going to be quite good this year. For the pre-season uh, uh, pre prediction, last time I looked, we were predicted to be relegated, and I think it's yeah, still the same. So, so the prediction is still for us to be in the relegation zone. But I'm hoping to be more around the mid-table sort of zone. In other news, we have now two million in the bank, which is great. I'm going to try and ask the board for an improved youth level. The board has promised to give us an an expanded stadium, so they have promised to expand the stadium at some point. They haven't set that into motion yet, so I'm hoping to do that at some point. And the youth facilities are being um, improved, which I'm hoping will then lead on to an improved youth level, which will then mean we'll be playing youth leagues, which will be much better for development for the development of our players. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, also, um, we have an affiliate club now. We have a senior affiliate club, which is Arsenal, but we also have our own affiliate club, uh, Barrow. Who play in the National Vanrama League, so not too bad. But we haven't sent any players on loan there this year yet because we've got the right numbers in both the under 23s and the under 18s. So there's Anthony Ralston, which I'm hoping to, in fact, while I'm talking about it, let's try and sell him again. Um, see if he goes. Uh, right, I think I've already done all of this. Um, so Tommy Yates is um, injured, so we're going to play with our backup goalkeeper. This is all good, except we're playing our new um, centre-back, Brandon Cooper. Uh, new box-to-box. -box. Antonio is injured, so Declan is playing. And everyone else is just like, we're still experimenting with a few. Who's going to be um, first team and who's going to be backup. You're going to play in a, a positive mentality with. Um, here we go. Working the ball, into the, uh, the ball into the box. Nothing different there. Nothing different there. So, yeah, kind of our normal tactic, really. Uh, because we have. This guy's new, and this guy's new, and these guys are new. That guy's new. This guy's new, so there we have no relationships yet, uh, so no arrows or anything like that. So far, let's go into the match. Two people need numbers. So we have two draws so far. I'm hoping to at least keep it that way. Let's change this back to full screen. Yeah, so as far as the channel, so I've been rushing to, I'm actually rushing to record this because um, I'm having quite a busy August. I'm not actually being able to record any videos. So uh, I think I've got one video recorded that's coming out and then I'll only have time to record this one. So I'm actually recording quite close to the release date, like a week, uh, a weekend in advance. Um, so I might potentially have to drop down to just one episode per week. We'll see how 
you know, if he carries on being busy like this, I might have to do that. Yeah. So that might affect things a little bit. Um, also, I don't know if you've noticed the big news about FM for next year is that they're going to add women players to the world or the women football league to the world the fm world so everything will still be the same but there will be the women's leagues and all of the new features that that requires because women player needs like slightly different attributes uh the leagues themselves are slightly work slightly different there's things to consider um um as far as like you know obviously women biologically operate in a different way than men but apparently you can move between the worlds seamlessly they're basically just more leagues nothing not not it's not a separate game it's not a separate subsection within the game or anything like that you can just move seamlessly between the two which will be great i'll look forward to experimenting with that so we're now losing um now Charlton, I think, was in 19th. Which must mean they have at least one point now. Yeah. Okay, let's do a couple of subs. So, uh, we're not playing too badly. I just need a little bit of encouragement. Um, also, play some of our youth. Piano is from my youth. Dodds, wow, Dodds is not playing well. That's right, because noon, noon apparently is better than Dodds at the moment. Although Dodds still has room for improvement. He's just not fulfilling the improvement. Um, I think mainly because last season he was injured for the majority of the season. So the last season he barely played. He played like maybe, you know, 11 ga games or 15 games or something like that. Like in the, in the 10s rather than the 20s. Which was great for Noon. Noon got a lot of action. And also have to bear in mind we're playing with our backup goalkeeper, so things aren't going to be as smooth. Ooh. Oh, that was lucky. I think Tom Yates comes back next for the next match. I think. I'm hoping that that's the case. Okay, so. Not too bad. Just 1 0. Not too bad indeed. Let's see if we can do one more match. Uh, okay. I'm going to put in some extra training. So let's go to training calendar. Let's put in some set piece. We need some of these as well. I always do community outreach and team bonding. But I want lots of set piece training. Let's do it. Make the most if we can. Now it looks like we have a uh, one round of of uh, the Carabao Cup coming up, so we'll see if we can do that. No offers for Alston. Let's lower that price. It was quite quite high anyway. Uh, how about that.
Now Barnett either play in the league below or a couple of league, leagues below us. I can't quite remember now. Let's look. Two leagues below us. So in theory, we should be fine. Okay, let's lower this again. Let's go down maybe to 20. There's no clubs inter interested anyway, so. Nope. Let's go down to value. Okay, so. Let's have a look. Uh, Tommy Yates is not back yet. Richard South is doing a great job, so let's keep him in. In defense, I'm actually quite happy with these two, so that's fine. Um, Matthias is still injured. Alan Jardine. It's fine now. This guy's injured, so we need to bring in Simon. Not injured, sorry, it's suspended. Uh, I think Antonio's still injured. Uh, be fine. We might put Craig Noon. Um, yeah, I'll bite the bullet. Craig Noon, and that'll be fine. So, right, left, centre, <clears throat> got all the positions that we need. We've got all the positions that we need, so that's fine. I'm going to bring in <coughs> Miles, I think. Yeah, I've got the right and left. Mm, I'm not sure if Miles, maybe one of the centre backs would be a better choice. But oh, it looks like we have a relationship. Is it Simon? Oh yeah, Simon and Alan. Okay, that's fine. I'll go with that. Now, um, we're still going to go positive push. Okay, we'll add all those and we'll go positive again. And off we go. So we're just letting the, the coaches kind of make sure that I choose um, someone who has quite high tactical knowledge and player ability uh, judgment to make some tactical recommendations. So I just follow them. Don't really worry too much about them. I need to review it though, because I th did I get someone new? No, no, I think I've already reviewed them. It's fine. So we've suf suffered from a <coughs> from a free kick, and then just someone not be marked there. Lack of marking there was the issue. Now, according to the star ratings, Richard South, our right wing back, is the best player in the team currently. So, I'll watch out for him. There he goes on the right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> kind of just forgot about the ball. That was a bit bad. They're having quite a few chances, Barnett, aren't they? Six against four targets. Sorry, six shots on, and of those, four on target. That's what I meant to say. There 
just need to score here. <clears throat> I might need to make some changes at the front. Okay, let's make some changes. This isn't quite working, so... Bring in piano again, and dots. Just make a few changes. Fresh legs. And we'll probably bring in Finley as well at some point. Come on, Craig, you can do it. Goes Dodds, Simon, back to centre back. Not a great pass. Try again, Max, come on. Dodds crosses, no one there. That's a lost opportunity. Okay, so we're going to bring in Finley. Although something could happen here. Oh man, against the against the player, against the defender again. Come on, yes. Oh, Barna are really on it, aren't they, with the fence? Come on, let's do something. It'd be a shame for us to lose Carabao Cup, but it might have to. Oh, Simon Parnell's going to get sent off with a second yellow. I think the other guy is also suspended. The other guy for that position is also suspended, so we might have to go and get one of our youth for the next game. <laughs> All the fun and games. Okay, so we've lost that one, but I'm not too precious about it, to be completely honest. Um, one match. Let's get ready for the next match. Where is it? So next match is against, is against Bristol. Only in four days. So we'll get ready against it and then we'll finish the episode. Um, still, I want to get rid of Anthony. Come on. Somebody's got a bite, surely. If he doesn't sell, I'll just keep him around so he can be <coughs> uh, a mentor for the youth. Yeah, so we'll get ready for the next match, but in the meantime, um, don't forget to like and subscribe. I think this season will be a bit better, um, and I'm, I don't think we'll get in the promotion zone at all, but it's a slow progress towards it, I think. The club needs to improve quite a bit for us to even be ready for promotion at this level. Um, da -da -da. Which player is online to leave? Brad Hatha. What does he do? Hmm. Oh, I think he was just one of those. I've got you online, but you were just like here for a month, just as a filler. I think this is what it is. Uh, let's see. I think he's like a centre back. Nope, he is not a centre back. He must be a half back. 
Yeah, he's a halfback, but he's just here just as a fill, so that's fine. So he's had one appearance as a... Okay, that's fine. So he's leaving us. Sometimes I get these, like, one-month fillers just while I look for the more permanent position. Um, Neil, um, Neil Mott is the actual player who plays in that position. And Alan Jardin as, as well, of course. So we'll get ready for Bolton. Uh, and also, uh, just to give a quick thanks to the Patreon as well. If you haven't checked out Patreon, you can do. The, the, the link is in the description. And... Um, yeah, thanks so much, because, um, obviously this is a hobby, um, so quite grateful that someone has decided to support me. The name will be in the credits. Now, before we finish the episode, just going to have a look, see if there's anything else we can ask the board for. I really want to ask for a youth improvement, but, um, yeah. Let's do improve youth recruitment. Let's do improve training. Because that's also useful. And improve scouting range. We'll see if any of that gets accepted. Nope. Uh, yeah, scouting range. Oh no, sorry. The training, we're going to spend 1.8 million improving our training facilities that would be great actually because at the moment we have average rating facilities and actually our youth are below average so our youth is currently being improved so it'll be good for the main team players to also have that opportunity to just um be able to have better facilities as well so very quickly then just finishing up the episode just to get it getting ready for the next match we're gonna play ah mm, he's not doing too badly keep Duncan for now which is south uh in the fence I think I'm gonna keep it exactly as it is he's working quite well max low now here it might okay Morgan's back that's great okay that's fine in Antonio's not back yet which is a shame. We'll get Finley and we'll get Dodds. I think that's it. Now here, we don't need quite so many players. So let's get Tommy Yates on the bench. So right, left, center. Ba -ba -ba. Just checking I have all the positions I need and I do. Which is great. So that will be our team for the next match with the following tactics probably gonna still play oh we're gonna play balanced which is great let's change that to balanced and thank you so much for watching i will see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe and as i said before the patreon as well there's also uh links uh that you can check out in the description uh, yeah just go let you explore that on your own thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye